Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to write different complex sentences for a line graph report in IELTS Writing Task 1. It's very important when you write your body paragraphs for your IELTS Task 1 that you have a range of different complex sentences to show the examiner. Now, in a previous lesson, I showed you how to write a sentence similar to this. If you haven't watched that lesson, please watch it. It's very important that you understand how to make the sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sentence, the same information, and change the order so that we have different structures. Let's have a look at the sentence first. The number of people becoming vegetarian. That is our subject. It's quite long. After the subject, we've got the verb. And if you look at the dates, you can see that it is the past tense. After the verb, we need to describe the movement. And that is, we say, it increased steadily. So that's our adverb. After that, we had the numbers. And after the numbers, we had the dates. So let's change that a little bit and write the sentence in a different way. Well, one way we could change it is we could start with the dates. So between 2004 and 2007, the number of people, and we can say becoming vegetarian, increased steadily from about 75 to 200. I'll stop there. Often when we put the date first, we have a comma after that. And then we have the number of people. So that's one way to change it. Now, there are more ways. Let's have a look at another way. The next way I'm going to show you to change that is, can you see this word here, increased? Now, that's a verb, but we could also use it as a noun, un-increase. So I'm going to write a sentence using this word as a noun. To do that, we need to start with, there was an increase. OK, we always start with there was, if it's past tense, of course. So there was. And let's stop for a minute, because here we've got the word steadily, which is an adverb. Now, we still want to use that word, but because this will be a noun, we need to use this as an adjective. So, if we have an adjective, it usually comes before the noun. So, that means we need to change the order and the form of the word. So, there was a steady increase. So, again, very important. Remember, if it's a verb, you have the ad adverb afterwards. If it's a noun, you have the adjective in front. And we change from steadily to steady. So there was a steady increase. Now we need to give this information. But to do that, we need to use a preposition first. And the preposition is in. So there was a steady increase in the number of people and we could say becoming vegetarian if we want to develop that. So we've got that. Now we need the numbers from about 75 to 200. And what's missing? Well, the dates are missing. And we've got between 2004, oh, sorry, 
2004 and 2007. So that is another way to structure your sentence and still give all the information we need with the numbers and the dates. Now there's one more way that I'd like to show you. So let's have a look. So the last way I'm going to show you in this lesson is again to use this as a noun, but we change the sentence structure again. So the number of people becoming vegetarian experienced a steady increase. So with this sentence, we've got the verb experienced, the number experienced, the figure experienced. We could also say witnessed. And after the verb, we've got the noun. We've got a steady adjective, a steady increase. And we've got a steady increase from about 75 to 200 between 2004 and 2007. So now we've added the numbers and the dates. Well, those are the four main complex sentences that you can use when you write your line graph report for IELTS writing task one. There are other sentences we can use, but they are the four main ones that you need to practice and perfect, which means write without too many mistakes. Remember, the more mistakes you make, the lower your band score will be. So please practice writing those sentence structures. Well, that's all for this lesson. I hope that was useful for you. Please remember to press like or share it with your friends if it was useful. Well, I'll see you again in another IELTS lesson.